Then you see that in such a day on her martyrdom, she has been attacked. And the reason and the way how she has been attacked as a lady, let's talk about her being a woman. Mm -hmm. Like if it was a man, that would be another point of view. But as her being a woman and she was in her home, that man, Umar ibn al-Khattab, attacked at Fatima. If you read in the book, Al-Imam al-Tabari, it mentions that he came along accompanying him 300 men. Imagine a lady who's 18 years old of age. She's in her home. Umar ibn al-Khattab accompanies her with 300 men and knocks on the door. Now, before they set the door on fire, Umar knocks the door. Fatima al-Zahra does not open the door. She stands behind the door. And what does she tell him? She asks who's behind the door. He tells her, open the door, I want Ali. So she does not welcome him in. What does he do? He breaks the door. He snaps it open and he feels her behind the door. Because Fatima al-Zahra, she was wearing hijab. Mm -hmm. It's just that she wasn't covering her face and she didn't want him to see her. So what she did is she stood behind the door. He, Umar felt Fatima. So he squeezed her hard. One of his companions told him, Fatima war al bab, Fatima is behind the door. He said, What if? And he squeezed her again. Umar says, When I squeezed her, <laughs> she griefed a grief that my heart was softened. <laughs> I remembered what Ali did to us in the battle of Badr. So what did he do? He took revenge. He said, I squeezed the door harder on her until I heard her ribs Do you know what they say? They say the minute they would attack the house, she would call upon one name saying, Ya Fadda, come and aid me. Thank <laughs> you.